The Iranian Hulk and Martin Ford's pound fest has been postponed, of course. He's going to be postponed. And the Hulk is not happy. <laughs> Iranian Hulk threatens to sue Martin Ford, blames world's scariest man for fight cancellation. <laughs> Today I heard Ford don't want fight, not me, not any other fighters. I never cancelled any fight, but he don't want to see me again. Actually, Pretty Boy can't never fight. He just hide and run away. He must have a permission from women first. I can't believe opponent like him. It's shameful this victory is an honour for me. It's a century joke, not a century fight, eloquently put. Do not make the Hulk angry, or he'll sue you. Is that how that goes? Sorry, for those of you who don't know who this can't at all fight, but was going to have a boxing fight legend is... <laughs> The resistance band never stood a chance. And shut up, okay? Hammer curls are an essential part of combat training. But relax, not all is lost. Martin Ford is now selling a 20 to 1 ratio BCAA as part of his fight prep. Always a stable in my intra supplementation plan. It's not though, mate, is it? Indeed, it's not at all what's led to your gains. Come on now. I don't think USADA would even know what to do with this sample. It would explode on contact, I reckon, like one of those grenades from Borderlands. What's your go-to supplement? 21 to 1 BCAA. I have never seen a 20 to 1 ratio. That is hilarious. So they just keep increasing the numbers to keep manipulating people into buying stuff they don't need. There won't be any room on that label soon. <laughs> Sell out. Just a cough. Okay. Matt does natural bodybuilding. Okay. And that's you. You've been drug Boom. tested. We did it. And so Matt has just done one of the many tests that he's going to do for his natural bodybuilding show. Here is his video for anyone interested. Let's do an unofficial collaboration. I mean, like, in terms of drug stuff, like, I think it's just, I'll be honest. That'll be a first. I mean, a lot of people don't care. A lot of you guys probably don't care at all. Fair enough. Like, I understand that I'm not really that fast, but there are some people that do care, you know, passionately care about me and not taking drugs or taking drugs. No, they just care about you lying about it. If you took them and admit it while choosing your physique as the basis of your fitness career, I don't think anyone would care. It's your choice as an adult. And for example, some of the most popular fitness personalities right now are enhanced, but they're open about it. And so I think Matt is a likable guy in many ways and not a bad guy at all, apart from the mukbangs and the fake natty stuff and Gymshark. But it's very hard to believe he's lifetime natural. Could he be natural right now prepping for this show? Well, yes, but throughout his whole fitness model career, so I hope you appreciate the fact that I've done that because that was a ball ache to sort out. So fair play to him in that aspect, he doesn't have to do any of this. Not sure the testing process should be a ball ache though. Sounds a bit extreme. You know, at least for the logical, rational, normal mind of people out there, you yeah, know, regular members of society that clearly I'm not on drugs now and clearly I never have been. As not a normal member of society, I don't believe you. And so please let me know your thoughts on that. Big boy. Not sure why he calls himself that. Millions of followers on IG and TikTok. Really popular guy. Hangs around with Cali Muscle. They do fine dining videos. Don't worry, they burned it all off afterwards. Usable calories and all that. If only I could buy that picture in ebook format. $10 family masterpieces. I mean, as much as my hairstyle's a masterpiece. And so he has this brand called Strength Cartel. Fine, makes sense. He is legitimately strong. I think he has a powerlifting background. He's also a very athletic guy. Staying active at 263 pounds, he writes. So that is pretty decent. His results must have been possible from taking... Strength Cartel Test Booster, a prop blend turd of tribulus terrestrials labelled over and over again, as if the first few times wasn't bad enough. An ingredient that is not at all evidence-based for increasing your test. It is literal snake oil. It is one of the biggest hustles that I've ever seen in the fitness industry. You see the work we put in, you know the weight we push, so you know we only use the strongest natural ingredients found anywhere. Boost. I bet you do. I bet that's all you use, mate, the strongest natural ingredients. How can you trademark the word boost? Let's go do some work. On your wallet, because this rubbish costs $60. SC Cartel, meet the team. Big boy, CEO, obviously. Big Joe, heavy hitter, that checks out. And Lee, come on Lee, that's disappointing. We got Big Boy, Big Joe, Big Ed and Lee. This guy's even called Stacks. Dead game pre-workout, name that because the formula was dead on arrival. This won't take long. Underdose creatine, underdose betaine, two prop blends and caffeine. I mean, at least the caffeine is decent. Look at the names he's given his prop blends to hide the fact that he's hiding the amounts to increase profit margins. Maybe. Big Boy looking delighted there to meet Mike O'Hearn. Say cheese. You're all juiced to the gills and you're selling rubbish supplements to your audience, but the Rolex gains are no joke. Noel Dazel has released his pre-workout supplement Godzilla versus Kong with Rise supplements. And so this is a quick overview of his pre-workout. I won't go into depth into each ingredient because I've done that on this channel before and I want to keep this into a digestible five minute format. And so I like Noel, I can't say his name. And so the label is transparent. There's clear amounts listed. There's no prop blends. There's no stupidly dosed vitamin stack to pad the label to make it epic for marketing purposes. So that's all very good, which I don't say often. And so for those of you wanting a quick snapshot without me going into the ingredients. It's a pretty decent pre-workout. This is not a bad formula at all. They've done a pretty good job. In this formula, we've maxed out the three biggest factors that go into a pre-workout. Pump, energy, and focus. Now let's dive into these ingredients and see how my signature pre-workout is gonna change the game. This is a one or two scoop pre-workout. And if you're looking for a crazy workout, 
you take two scoops. And so he's open about the fact that two scoops is extreme, and I agree. For two scoops, amounts of certain ingredients are high or very high. 350 milligrams caffeine is humongous for heart beating through your chest days. 6.4 beta alanine for never skip itchy day. And so for the average fitness enthusiast or gym goer, one scoop would be more applicable to you. And so what I'm going to do is analyze from one scoop of this pre-workout. So you have choline bitartrate for performance and cognitive effects. Not strictly essential, but the dose is decent. Then we have the potassium and sodium, of course, which have electrolyte properties. But let's get to the meat and bones of it. The L-citrulline formula, which comes to 5.5 grams, of course, which is a vasodilator, which increases the size of the blood vessels to allow that, that blood flow and, and the transport of nutrients and essentially leading to that nitric oxide synthesis and, and more energy, basically. This is a decent ingredient to include, but at a dose that should be a little higher if using one scoop. Beta alanine isn't just for that feeling. It's shown an increase in muscular endurance and decrease in fatigue. I personally love the tingles. When it kicks in, I know it's time to train. Do you like the tingles? No. So he is correct. It is evidence-based for muscular endurance, as I've talked about before, but it's kind of the marmite of pre-workouts. Either you love it or you hate it, and perhaps less effective for trained people and more effective for untrained consumers, which is an important caveat to remember. And it's not wrong to put this in. It is evidence-based, but importantly, you need to take it cumulatively over time for it to have those ergogenic effects. Then we have betaine anhydrous. This is what younger me said about that. Betaine anhydrous. And so this regulates water balance in cells, hydration. We have a range of around 2,500 milligrams to the upper end of 6,000 milligrams taken per day. And that will be divided up into how many times a day you take it. And he's dosed it correctly. 2,500 milligrams. Again, very good stuff by this company and by Noel. Creatine, I clearly had too much. And so one of the single best supplements we have in terms of a strong evidence base supporting it for purpose, very simply broken down. It allows you to have more energy. I have more in-depth scientific videos about creatine for any of you wanting to watch those. But again, with all supplements, creatine is a matter of personal preference. Some people watching this understand it's evidence-based, but tell me it just isn't for them. They don't like how they feel on it. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to take creatine, but it does improve exercise capacity. And so it's a very good ingredient to have in his pre-workout formula. It's at 2.5 grams. An adult needs around three to five grams per day. And so it would be slightly underdosed if you were just taking one scoop of this pre-workout as your sole source of creatine. But in terms of ingredients, creatine is a very good choice. Let's whisk through this more choline by tartrate. Caffeine, a highly effective ingredient, strong evidence base behind it, ergogenic. I have videos on that. 175 milligrams is an ethical dose. I like that dose. The industry standard is around 200 milligrams in a pre-workout. 350 for two scoops is too high for me. But again, for people who have a higher caffeine tolerance, it's a matter of your personal preference. But just be aware with this formula, there's th there's other stimulants in it. We have theobromine. We also have a, an extended caffeine release, which takes the amount of caffeine up. So just be conscious of that fact. Then we have pink Himalayan sea salt. People put salt in for many reasons, for the pump, for the interaction with creatine, for electrolyte reasons. An interesting addition, not strictly necessary, but I understand why they put that in. 500 milligrams of pink Himalayan sea salt. It has 84 mineral and helps restore essential nutrients that are used throughout your workout. This will balance your pH levels, helping prevent muscle soreness and helping you recover. And so I don't know what the patented formulas are exactly, FASO drive, etc. Sorry. So that is a limitation of my analysis into this supplement. And so theobromine, a stimulant, again, put in to increase blood flow. Some companies will put this in instead of caffeine. For people who don't really respond well to caffeine or who don't like caffeine, the thing is that theobromine is far less evidence-based than caffeine. It's really not strongly researched. And so I don't exactly understand why they would have put this in in a addition to caffeine. I think it's a bit of an unnecessary inclusion. Then they have thinkamine, which will be for cognitive issues, which in essence is a decent idea to put in a pre-workout. Many pre-workouts will have nootropics or cogni cognitive ingredients, such as hoopazine A, for example. Let's talk about the focus aspect of my pre-workout. It has 20 milligrams of patented vincamine, which is thinkamine. In a full serving, this is double the amount of our loaded pre-workout. Think of mine is one of the newest and best nootropics on the market, giving you laser focus. And so overall, this is a decent effort. It's not bad at all. They're transparent about what they offer. There's no prop blend. There's some very well thought out ingredients at some very good doses. There's also a few ingredients I think are slightly unnecessary and a little bit underdosed in some cases. And so overall, I would feel positively about Noel and producing this supplement. But more importantly than that, you have to remember with all supplements, they are supplemental. You absolutely do not need to take a pre-workout. You can if it's your choice, but always remember that supplements are a very, very small part of your fitness journey.